That was way worse than the other one. I'd say you've got the test. <laughs> Got a confession to make. You guys might have remembered about a month ago. It was, I think it was the, oh wow, I'm getting sprayed. I think it was the, uh, yeah, it was the second week of the open. I, uh, I took my 4x4 on the beach for the very first time. I just realized this morning, I haven't washed it since that day. How bad is that? You come off the beach and they've got like a spraying station, you can spray off all the sand. But that's all I've done. I haven't actually washed it properly since that day, so. It just shows you how much of an amateur 4x4 owner I am. So, uh, let's wash this bad boy. Man, that's actually really, really hard on the forearms and the grip. I don't know, uh, I don't know how people that don't do CrossFit, you know, people that don't handle barbells every day, I don't know how they handle these uh, spray guns. Okay, my favorite part. There you go. That feels better. Funny story, I had to put extra money <laughs> into the timer because I was filming, so I was wasting time filming and setting up the shot and ran out of time. But I prefer washing hand wash. What do you guys prefer? Do you prefer going through the dry through washes or do you prefer doing it by hand, you know, at one of these places? I always prefer doing it myself. Don't trust those machines. Okay, let's go run. Okay, it's time for a little 6K. I just got a message from Mr. James Newbury. I asked him what the longest distance was that I needed to run leading up to the marathon. In my mind, I was gonna run maximum, uh, the maximum of a half marathon. So 21 kilometers was gonna be my maximum run that I would do leading up to it. Now, I know a lot of old school runners would say that that is not enough, that you gotta run further than that. But honestly, I'm not a runner. I don't want the next three months to be miserable. I want to. I just want to run three times a week, maybe squeezing the fourth if I can. But I'd rather. I'd rather the marathon be more miserable on the day, and enjoy my next three months rather than the next three months being horrible um, for an easier marathon. If that makes sense. So um, James didn't give me a straight answer, but he did say that I needed to run at least half the distance every week total. So. What's that, 40, uh, 42 kilometers divided by two. So I need to run at least 21 Ks every week leading up to the marathon to make sure my legs are ready. So that's pretty doable. This is week number three of marathon training for me. The first week I did five kilometers, five kilometers, and then eight on the weekend. So what was that, 18 kilometers in total. Last week I did a six, a six, and a 10. So that's 22 in total. Um, this week I'm doing a six, a six, and a 12. So today is my second six for the week and then come this weekend, Sunday morning, I'll run at 12. James said that he'll have my program ready later today, so I look forward to seeing something a bit more structured because I've got no idea what I'm doing. And today, I'm gonna wear my smiley face socks from Hop Socks because uh, I don't feel that way today. I don't feel like running, but maybe putting these socks on will get me in the mood. So I've got a question for my running friends. I've got a Garmin, and then I've also just signed up for Strava. So my last two runs, I've used both these things. I've started them at the same time, and I seem to reach my distance faster on the Strava, and also my average pace is faster. So um, that's fairly significant as well. It's like, this one says that yesterday I ran at a 4.37 pace. So my average pace was 4.37, that's what Strava says, where my Garmin says I ran at 4.58. So that's, that's like, that's 20 seconds faster per kilometer that the Strava says. So, I don't know. What's been your experience? Do you use Garmin? Do you use Strava? Which one's more reliable? Don't know. Okay, today's the first time that I'm gonna do a one kilometer warm up run and stretch 
before I actually go for my six kilometer run. I've been just getting into it and my calves just kill for the first three or four kilometers. My calves are just tight as anything. So I thought maybe a one kilometer, nice slow warm up, stretch the calves out and then start. Hopefully that'll make a bit of a difference. And also get the heart rate to a steady place because I don't know about you, but the first three or four k's just suck and then I get into a nice rhythm. So yeah, it makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, that's my 1k done. Do some stretching now. Does anyone else run for fanny pack? I love it, eh? Phone in there, airpods, key, maybe a snack. You always have to get a few air squats in there, you know, for CrossFit. Guys, that felt good. 1k run, bit of stretching. It just felt right, you know, so let's let's get this run. in the heat of the day. It's 12.30 right now. Um, the marathon will kick off in the morning at 5 a.m. so it'll be a lot cooler, a lot nicer. So it's good to uh, it's good to run in the heat of the day and then hopefully on race day it'll feel a lot more comfortable. Okay let's see. Let's see this activity on the Garmin versus the Strava. Okay here we go. So Garmin says that I ran six kilometers. Strava says that I ran 6.13 so 130 meters more. The pace on the Garmin says 450, the pace on the Strava says 444, so yeah everything seems to be faster and further on the Strava, but nevertheless that was 6 kilometers and 29 minutes, so a pace of 450 per kilometer. What's up team, future Vakey here, just editing. So after my run, the very next day I went up to Brisbane to spend some time with Mike and Swanee. Mike being the organizer and programmer of the Torian Pro. Uh, we were just filming the workouts for the Torian. So um, yeah, I thought you guys might enjoy a few insights from, uh, from the day and what's coming up at Torian. Enjoy. Way worse than the other one. Let's say you've got the test. The, the more times you refine, test, and it starts to almost like reveal itself to you, right? And then um, when you get to that point where it just everything clicks and it's perfect, it's, the, that's, that, it's such a satisfying feeling. It's uncomfortable as shit from the get go, but it's the kind, it's, it's uncomfortable. It's plain and simple, but it's doable. For, for what you're going for and the feeling you're after and the drama you want to create that's the perfect way perfect time frame yeah beautiful it's yeah it's clicked nicely unless you want it just to be four rounds for max reps yeah in which case it just becomes <laughs> doing single oh, excuse my language people <laughs> athletes doing singles you can bleep that out put a little chicken in front of me or something oh my god oh my god <laughs> from Ipswich you know um it's term of endearment where I'm from diet no diet yeah I need sugar bro you, you need I'm bloody you depleted I haven't worked that hard since 2014 regionals. <laughs> now, Betty's Burger aren't an official sponsor of the Torrent Pro. That's it. Right. Just, just saying that, but we're working on it. Bye. I just picked up my drink and like Because quarterfinals are starting on the Friday, and on the Wednesday, Kelly's like, why don't you just do it? Just just do Wednesday. it. Don't, yeah, like literally the Wednesday of that week, Kelly's just like, why don't you just do it? Just, we'll do it for you. And I was like, oh, you know, I was like, because I wasn't doing it anyway. I'm not competing in Torian. 
I didn't want to be like, you know, our weekends are pretty sacred at the moment because I'm at work all week. Yeah. And she's like, we'll just figure it out. Just do it. Don't burn your bridges. Maybe you might still get to do touring or whatever. Or, you know, gives you a bit of a gauge of how you're going. See what the training's looking like. So yeah. I was like, yeah, fuck it. I'll just, why not? And then, you know, I took, I got the same result as last year. So, but it's with a fraction of the effort and stress. And like, I got six and I trained the next morning. I trained the day before. I trained Thursday morning. I trained the next day. Like, I wasn't really sore. It's so interesting I, though, like how that, you know, yeah. being able to have a free swing at it with no expectation, yeah. the weight that it takes off your shoulders to just... But it's cool because like, you always kind of want to be a little bit like that about it. Like, you kind of want to be that Absolutely. carefree about it. But, but how you, do you get but yourself you, Well, you can't. State. And then like, finally I had the opportunity just to do it. And then you, and then you, you get to see what it can actually do for you you know I still very much care about the sport and competing and being a part of it all but it's it's far further down the list of priorities now than it ever used to be yeah. um, but it would be hard to keep doing it and enjoying it and but you know with you know but with the same attitude as you've carried through the last 10 years because I was kind of trying to have that approach last year but then I had a really good pre-season and I built into it really well and things were going really well and I was feeling the best I had in a few years and inevitably you just fall back into that old mindset of like oh hang on start caring about and then much. you know and then people st- yeah and then people start talking you know you've got the stigma of like you won the last two touring pros right. you got to you know retain that and blah 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 and then so inevitably you just fall into that mindset of it becoming the end all be all of your existence that's why I reckon Newbury might be dangerous this year, right? Just a little bit less expectation on himself. Yeah. Just coming, coming to have some fun and then could be dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they be out there smashing avocado moose and just fucking smashing, smashing people. No, he's my dark horse for sure. I think the same thing. Like it, now, especially knowing the workouts um, and having run through them and knowing, um, you know, relative strengths and weaknesses of the field and. I d- yeah, like, and just so if, if he comes in and he's relatively fit, which he always is, but he comes in with the same sort of attitude that I did for the quarterfinals, and there's no risk to just going out there and having a crack. Like I just I reckon he's dangerous as this year. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it just frees you up, man, and you can take risks, and you know yeah. if you know it just. Yeah, I think it's really interesting. Mike, um, obviously, you can't give us the workouts just yet, but what can the athletes and the spectators? expect of the 2022 touring pro mate it should be i think it's going to be pretty pretty special just from the perspective that you know now that we're coming out on the other side of this last couple of years and the the stadium is going to be full and you know i've tried to come up with some workouts that are pretty exciting and are going to create some um, pretty big moments and um and yeah, I just think with the field of athletes that we've got back, a full stadium, um, you know, they're, and, they're, and they're all pretty tough, intense efforts. So I think it's going to be, yeah, I think it's going to be pretty epic. Yeah. Any new um, implements or any new tools or um, toys that might come out, you in? Yeah, there's a couple of new things that we haven't used before at the Pro. Um, so yeah, I think there's going to be some a couple of things that people probably wouldn't expect and aren't used to doing a lot of work with. So it'll be interesting to see how people uh, handle that, mate. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I tell you what, the workouts are looking exciting. It's going to be very exciting as a spectator, and um, maybe not so exciting as an athlete. But uh, as always, Mike and Swanee and um, the whole touring team. Thanks for being so good to me. Thanks for having me, and uh, we look forward. To to being in the stadium in what five weeks six weeks that's not far to go hey tribe keep roaring love stay sexy and i'll see you soon Mwah.